Good. I yeah. like synthetic corks. Yeah. If you're a purist about your corks, you're wrong. <laughs> so this is uh, established 1854. If you're a purist, you're wrong. <laughs> six or rather sunrise pines well i mean the temporary room six yes you're here the, wi here. the whiskey room six yes um i'm josh i'm sean and this is the channel that celebrates the local las vegas music scene and the whiskey that makes it sound better and the people that make the music and the whiskey and the dreamers of the dreams okay <laughs> sean doesn't know what's in this because i thought my good buddy here is uh why give him something good? Let's just surprise him with something bad. I was told it was good. Mm. Uh, by, by someone who worked at Lee's Discount Liquor. Changed it up for this one. Oh, good. I was worried you were going to go with something reliable. <sighs> yes, well, I couldn't find what I wanted at Total Wine okay. online. I said, oh, well, it says that Lee's has it. Except, nope, couldn't find that. But fortunately... <laughs> What is this? I've piqued your interest. So no, at, no, <laughs> no! You've piqued my fear and my anxiety, not my interest. At time of recording, tomorrow this man is flying to Kansas City. Uh, tomorrow, this time I will be in Kansas City. Sorry, it's night. Yes. Yes. So I thought, hey, I'll give you a little taste of Nevada before you leave. If this is Ambrose whiskey, I will kick you so hard in the crotch <laughs> that your grandchildren will feel it. No, it's not. We're going to try Frey Ranch. I've never heard of them. From your face, I can see you've never heard of them. But apparently, they're in... Chill filtered. Yep, they're in Fallon, Nevada. Non-chill filter, uh, they put the latitude and longitude on <laughs> But every single thing used, like everything is grown in Fallon, Nevada, apparently. So it's totally Nevada. Ooh, okay. And I'm like, okay. Um, keep them with the theme of the last one. It's a $50 bottle at Lee's Discount Liquor. I've never heard of it. Certainly didn't, haven't seen it at a, a total wine. So I've never seen that before. I like, I kind of like the packaging. I was going to say, I like the bottle. I don't like the uh, the pewter piece up front. I, I would kind of go with like a silver, but... Is it pewter? It's it's not I mean, shining. It's, it's not metal, but probably... Oh, maybe. Excuse you? I that know. was a clink clink of the clink clink. Well, and, uh, I clinked the glass, but uh, it's got the, the, the nice... Like, we may worry about glug glug again. We may, and I'm also worried about the top here being uh, wider. But it's a big fat core. It, it may drip. To, to the, drip. the cork I'm not worried about is it, yeah. it looks synthetic. It does. It looks synthetic. Good. I yeah. like synthetic corks. Yeah. If you're a purist about your corks, you're wrong. <laughs> so this is uh, established 1854. If you're a purist, you're wrong. <laughs> if you're a Puritan, you're wrong. Fair enough. And a Quaker. The views and opinions expressed by the hopes do not necessarily state or reflect those of the company and its management. Uh, I think they're all dead. established 1854. Frey, Fry? I mean, it's spelled like, like Len Fry from the well, Eagles. I was just in Sigla Fry. But uh, farmers and distillers, non show filter, straight bourbon whiskey, distilled with four slow grown grains. Uh, what are slow grown grains? Grains that don't grow fast. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I do thought... like the color. May I? Yes, please. Okay. Don't hurt your thumb. Batch number one. What? Batch number one. 45% 90 proof. Oh yeah, by the way, it's 90 proof. So we don't, it's kind of in that butter zone of might be good, might not be good. We, we don't know. 2,000 acres, Sierra Nevada watershed. Before you go off to Kansas City, I wanted you to have a little Nevada running through your, your system there. Born from 165 years of our family crafting tradition. All right. Yep. Once we're done with this video, by the way, if uh, you're not a patron over on Patreon, Link is, well, link is in the description, but link is there. Uh, we're also going to be sitting around doing our little podcast, Two Brains, One Bottle, t talking about this some more, talking about other things. Yes. Uh, answering some questions from listeners. Um, 
trying Are to figure out questions. Like, we have questions, believe it or not. I don't know if I have answers. Well, we'll see. But uh, basically, trying to figure life out one drink at a time. So if you're not a patron, that's one of the things you're missing. There's some other perks over there as well. Check it out. Patreon.com forward slash room six. That's room the number six. Are we ready, sir? Sure. Are you opening? You, oh, no, I thought you were. You brought it. Oh, as, I, as I say that. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I know. I'm trying not to. What's up? Okay. Excuse me. It's okay. So, anybody, uh, anybody watching ever tried Frey Ranch, Fry Ranch from Nevada? Uh, down below in the comments, please. Let us know what your takeaway from that was. And uh, also, what <clears throat> wherever you live, What's your regional whiskey that's made just there that, you know, you're proud of? Of course, we wet the cork. I like that they, they say that the grains are slow grown. grown in Nevada. Yeah. And not, so that means it's, it's not sourced MGP. Grown, distilled, matured, and bottled on the Frey Ranch. Okay, so this isn't MGP whiskey. Mm -mm. Batch number I didn't see batch, the batch number one. one. I would have gotten more excited and be like, <laughs> batch number one. <laughs> This is gonna be a this is gonna be a good one. Ooh, shall I read the blurb from? Uh, Please do. Colby Fry. I'm, I'm gonna say Fry. It looks like Glenn Fry. That's where my brain goes. My journey starts with the love of growing grains in a sustainable way here on the ranch, over 2,000 acres in the Sierra Nevada watershed. Every time I step onto this land, I can feel the generations before me. So far, hasn't talked about the actual whiskey. No. Which We're talking about the family and the tradition. Which gives me hope. I've tilled the soil, planted the seed, and grown the grains specifically for making a bourbon unlike any other. Born from 165 years of our family farming tradition, every single aspect of this whiskey was crafted on Fry Ranch. But not once are words like smooth or expression or... You're missing the big one. I, I'm trying to remember. Premium. Premium, yes. Premium or craft. Yeah, the last one we did was a premium whiskey, and we were we were eh. less than enthused. It does strike me as kind of a craft or artisanal thing. Yeah, but I'm I'm into it because it seems right. small knit. So, and uh, that's all. That's always. I'm gonna bad. pop if you don't mind, because you're sure. Just, yeah, this was to take the plastic off if you needed it. I, I'm good. I'm just I'm trying not to do the thing. At least I thought I was good. Okay, here we go. Satisfying sound. Jeez, I did wet it. Oh. That was cute. Would you like to sniff the cork, sir? No, no. It's, it's synthetic. Mm. It smells like whiskey. Are you doing the pouring, too? Again? I, no, I'll, I'll let you do the pour. Shit. What? That's fine. Okay. Oh, apparently... I, uh, I failed on my... I had one job. I was going to pour it all over the plastic. Jeez. Oh, I, I that's gave why this, you a knife! That's why this stuff is you free. <laughs> stubborn ass! A few moments later... Who wants whiskey? I know I'm making things easier. Just take the help. It, I didn't think it was that. Why are men so fucking stubborn? Answer it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear. Every woman, <laughs> and every oh man's like, uh, dude, what like did a, you do? It feels like a fucking song. It's a heavy thing, man. That's a stout bottle. How's that for you? Beauty, eh? That fucking color is gorgeous. Oh, I know, right? Uh, oh, that was a little much, Sean. Want to trade? I mean, I'm driving, but you have to get up and... No, it's fine. Well, it's, fine. it's an oily bastard. You know what? I'm out, of the, out of the frying pan and into the fire. Wow. Nice wordplay. And look at that. It's still a solid pork. Look at that. Pork. Yeah. 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 How you doing? How you doing? There you go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Now the question is, who's gonna bump it? Eyes. I have good eyes for shit like this. <laughs> sure you do. <laughs> that looks pretty in there. It does. That's. I'm super impressed by the color. But okay, so no age. Let me. Yeah, no. It's a non-age statement. I 
now I have my Google machine. No, your Google machine is currently recording oh, sound. All right. So we're just going in blind. I, I know all nothing. Right. I'm into this. But before anything else, sir, I had a thought and I lost it. Oh, should we pause for the thumbnail? Um, right off the bat, you got something right? I can smell it like this far away, it's, but it's not unpleasant. That's pretty. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I get grains, but not in a, a wheat way so much as like a... Oh, man. There's a, there's a floral sweetness like a... There's a, a wheat dustiness. Um, well, man, you really picked a bad night. Why is your nose? Because I because I didn't sleep last night, so I'm trying to search for words. I've been searching for words all day long. Welcome to my world. Oh, man, you get some vanilla in there. I got a lot of vanilla. I yeah. got a lot of dark plum notes. Um, That's what of, it was. I was trying of, to place the uh, the stone fruit. Yeah, dark fruit, dark fruit. Mm -hmm. I'm. Pick... Do you get lavender? I do. I, I was like floral, but but uh, like yeah, but in my head is is picturing lavender. But it's 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 balanced on the nose anyway. It's very balanced and complex. Okay, so now now you go in and I get the uh, the mixed berries with sugar. <laughs> yep, strawberries, blackberries, definitely blueberry. Like, but there's a, a dustiness. There's this. There's. A, Mm. I'm not getting a lot of the baking spices only because there's so much going on. No, I'm not getting spices. I'm getting yeah. like it's all lulled out, kind of more like a lowland scotch note. This does smell like if you're, a if you're a fan of Akintoshin, this is this is kind of near that for me. The Akintoshin 12? Akintoshin is a distillery. Like they have a very distinct oh. lowland okay. scotch gotcha. note. Gotcha. Well, because we tried the 12, so. Um, this does smell like the whiskey a farmer would That's put out, so right? It's so fucking rich. Wow. I know. I'm excited. I'm, I, I I'm out of, unfortunately, I'm out of adjectives and descriptor terms. But may your travels lead you to somewhere better than where you even hope to be. Well done. That's harmonious. That is. All right, here we I'm going in. Ooh, totally different taste. It is. Wow, that jumped left way. Turn. Yeah, it just it jumped way up, 180 degrees in the other direction. I got citrus all of a sudden. Yeah, orange peel. Well, yeah, orange peel, and a little bit of the baking spice note. Yeah, wow. Oh, I, that's. Fuck. Ooh, it's de it's blooming. It's developing. As much. Oh, I'm getting like there's the caramel note. Yeah, brown sugar. Now you're getting into the baking stuff. Damn, someone knows what they're doing over there. Wow, I'm. I'm I'm well impressed. Wow, so far, wow. I feel like Brian Brushwood. <laughs> wow, <laughs> do the thing. Damn it. Okay, you know what? Go away, bad guys. That's, go away, bad guys. That's why. I was that's just watching why, them today. I bet you that's why Brian can't get any new fucking words. Is because he's got kids and he never sleeps. I, I understand that. Ooh, suddenly the orange just turned up. Like it went from orange. Peel to like almost an orange liqueur. Creamsicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The creamsicle ice cream. But like an alcoholic version. <laughs> yeah, like a boozy oh. or creamsicle. See, I always thought I was the Brian Brushwood of the two of us. Oh, I'm definitely a Jason Murphy. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, does that mean I, I'm good at scamming people? This is. Wow. That is so inoffensive. But, but not boring. No, it is everything but boring. It's not one note. It is multiple notes, but they're all... Like, somebody knows what they're doing over it, there, man. It this fits like a chord on a piano does, like an orchestra working together. Yeah. I, if and there's says, such, there was such counterpoint and counter melody, mm -hmm. for you music fans, between the nose and the taste, because it was lowland, scotchy, fruity, sugar reduced for a long time, compote kind of sweet honeysuckle and then it just boom citrus spice would go great i could see it in a i could see it in a hot toddy but i could also see it in an old-fashioned mm. and i could see it in what else do we 
It does. I, I definitely think it would. If you mixed it, it would make any drink better. That's really fucking good. Like, if somebody says, hey, I want to get into bourbon, what's a good one to try? Damn. I'm going to say, how much can you spend? Because this is 50 bucks. And That's it's... so worth it. Yeah, unlike... By, by comparison, the Bunahaven's about that. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. The well, Bunahaven, uh, the Akintoshin... Damn. The, the, um, we don't usually gush like this over a whiskey. No, this is... Whether it's Frey... It's something special. Whether it's Frey Ranch that or Fry Ranch, I'm... I love it that we got batch one. Yeah. Batch number one, like that... I... Well, out of the gate. <laughs> out of the gate. Swinging for the fences and oh, clearing man. the ballpark. Oh, if you're watching this, Frey Ranch, Fry Ranch, whatever, Colby. Colby? Yeah. That's if, you know, if that's not the founder from 160... Yeah. <clears throat> no, he's, he wrote it. It was written years. like somebody who's, like, during the process of this. The whiskey itself has not been made for that long. It's batch one. Don't don't, don't screw this up. Mm. <laughs> Subsequent batches. Just keep doing what you're doing. This is awesome. There were uh, a couple other more expensive options. There was a straight rye. And then the guy... Oh, oh by the same distillery? Yeah, yeah. And, and the guy had said, there's also, like, a... a something select like the word select in there I'm like, I think I'm going to start with the plain one first <laughs> I'm not a fan of high rise like it's like rye bourbons just or rye rye whiskeys don't right but who, who, I'm not, I'm not they a fan may, of rye they may be amazing whatever these four grains are yeah which man. I don't have my google machine um they may not even tell you yeah which I'm oh. kind of okay with that was delicious. That was. I'm really glad I bought that. So good. Have some more, man. Here. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Um. Ooh, would you like to take one? I well, yeah. <sighs> to once in a while, getting it right. <laughs> so true of all things. <laughs> Hopefully twice. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I love where the nose is gone now. I was going to say, because I gave it another sniff, and I was like, you, you might want to sniff it again. Ooh, there's like a banana, funky, earthy note in there that I'm I'm digging. I, I'm digging. Is there like a little dude inside who's like releasing flavors? <laughs> it's morphing. It's changing. Yeah. This, wh whoever their master distiller is. Wow. I'm, I don't usually get impressed with whiskeys like yeah. this, but... Man, that... And I'm really surprised. And I love that the 45% doesn't take your hat off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so non... It's so non-ethanol. That, like, when, I, when I took the first drink, I was like, oh, here we go. And I was like, hey, this is just so bad. So... I'm really surprised it's not a total wine. If it is, okay, fine. I'm, oh, I'm there's wrong. a birthday cake note in there. In the nose. When you back off a little bit... Your that smells so, just nose like so birthday. Good. Smells just like birthday cake. Oh, and now that you've planted that in my head, that's all I can picture is that super sweet white frosting with the writing on it. That misspelled. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I smell is that frosting and the sprinkles. Mm. Oh, that took such a oh, wow! I can only imagine what this would be like after sitting out for like an hour. And got, or just with a couple drops of water. You want it? Uh, I have a, a better filter in the fridge if you would like to. to Sweet. Oh, you're, oh, you're warming it. I am just heating the whiskey up to the temperature of my hands so that it, the oil and the water solubles can be a little more flexible. I'm going to grab a soda copita for water. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, now what are you doing? Oh no, he's got he's got coffee beans. <clears throat> he's going in. Nice big fat drop of water. Let's start with one. Let's see what happens. <laughs> now it's gonna smell like pizza. <laughs> No, back to the stone fruit, Ooh. the brown sugar, the... Well, a little water did do something. There's still that, that consistent, dusty, weedy 
feel the yeah. grainy note running solid through the middle. Which you expect because it's like their selling point is four slow grown grains. But it's all of the notes outside of the center that make it so yeah so good and so interesting. I I like never the center had... notes always there. It's grainy. It's dusty. It's it's there's wheat. There's like a, a, a oh. Oh. bro. Well, add, add a drop of water, and then take a drink. Oh, Suddenly, I'm going. I'm going back in for round two, and fine. then when I get lower, you mind if I ex- expound? All right. Just one big fat drop of water in here. The nose. I was getting. You know, look, nothing really changed much on the nose, but the, on the taste, I took a drink, and suddenly the sweet got ratcheted up a little bit. There, there's some oils in there that just love water. Oh, God, it's just so much better. How, this, hands down, we can recommend this. Yes? Yes, we can Two recommend this. Glen Cairns up. Right? How's that, for, how's, that, that, how's that for a treatment? Like, it's like two Glen Cairn up. Yeah. I'm Siskel. <laughs> Which one's dead? Good. Did you add water? I did. Cool. I'm going to add a little bit more. I didn't get a, a, a... I don't get more sweetness. I get more citrus. Right. But on the taste, I did. Hmm. Yeah, if you've seen any of our re- whiskey reviews, we don't normally go on and on and on about it. I get grapes. I get yeah, like all of a sudden it was this wine barrel, tannins, barrel tannins. That's what it is, barrel tannins. Yeah, I didn't mean sweet like all of a sudden it was a... a no, that was the a, note I couldn't get out of my fucking head. Like I couldn't think right. of the words. All right, yeah, very barrel tanniny, but... So finished, maybe finished in some sort of uh, well, sherry or something? So here's the thing. I think because it's in Nevada, if it's aged through summers, it mm-hmm. does a lot of the same things Texas does, right? Mm-hmm. Super high heat, then a contrast in the winter. But with Nevada, it gets so much hotter. Right. And not I, I and can not, only assume and that's why. It, yeah. And I only assume that's why it takes in so much more color, so much more, so much more wood note. And that's the other note I was getting was wood, wine notes, like there's a God damn it. This is so good. You know when you accidentally take too big of a gulp and you regret it? I just did and I don't regret it. It was that good. Um, Still citrus on the finish. Were we getting... Okay. Cheesecake. With caramel on top. Just the cheesecake or with the crust? I don't know if I'm getting the graham cracker. I'm getting cheesecake. And the caramel on top. Hmm. Okay. But it's caramel sauce. Like like Starbucks yeah. caramel sauce. I almost got toffee. Yeah, I can see toffee. Yeah. There's just so much to unpack on this thing. Honestly. Yeah. Um I oh man, I almost want you to save this for when I get back and we can do a, a proper two brains, one bottle, like this is a conversation whiskey. Yeah. You have your background whiskeys that you drink to drink. And you have conversational whiskeys that are the highlight of why you're getting together and you bond over those notes and then you dive into those notes because your olfactory sense is so strongly connected to your mind and your memories that it takes you different places. Right. And I would like to explore this whiskey even more than we already have. I know this is going to be one of the longer single whiskey reviews we've done. Mm-hmm. There's but, so much to unpack. But it's yeah. so good. I agree. It is so fucking good. Well, I have good news for you. It's our podcast, and it just says one bottle. It doesn't say it has to be a different bottle every time. Yeah, that's true. We can and it, it give it. We can try it. Like, well, here it is. Over over time, how has it changed? Um, oh, that's so fucking wow. Like, yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed and appreciative that honestly that they put it out. And being that it's batch number one, it's still like it's still even up there. Yep, Colby, you done good. I I think to the entire distillery, yeah. you guys did a fucking amazing. Really, and that, that's the can't say fairer than that. I think we'll go out on a high note with that. So, thanks for watching. If you're not a Patreon member, please consider 
clicking on there, a uh, little as dollar a month, you can hear us talk about all sorts of stuff, including whiskey, uh, and it'll be unfiltered, unedited, and probably off the rails. It's so good. God <laughs> damn it. Uh, every fucking drink has been great. Mm-hmm. Every one of them, the last gulp to the first sip. Yeah. And nothing unpleasant. I keep waiting for, okay, well, there's some funk or there's some brightness and the only, or something. The only, the only funk I got was a little bit of banana earthiness, but I even could throw, I can throw at that mm. nutmeg, banana bread, walnut, waxy mm-hmm. notes. I, I just got banana bread, yeah. And it, it opens. Oh, and it, I Fuck. I'm so impressed. I I want to go to I want to go there before before I leave, not before I leave tomorrow, before I leave like. Well, you, you want to go to the distillery? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Before I before I leave this earth, I would like to. <laughs> hey, how far away is Fallon? I have no idea. I don't have my Google machine. Road trip. I'm in. Room six on the road. We're gonna do it eventually. Uh, road six. No, no please. <laughs> Okay, maybe you're sex. No, it's fine. I understand. <laughs> you know, some t- you gotta shoot your shot. I gotta take. I gotta take Look, the shots I can afford. My brain only works so much during the day, and dun, when I don't dun, sleep, dun, 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 dun. Look, it, it works less. If you only had one shot, one opportunity, one <laughs> would you capture it? So or make it slip. Thanks for watching. Please let us know in the comments if you've had an experience with Frey Ranch or Fry Ranch. It's so good. If you if you. Can pick it up, pick it up. I say, I say, fuck like Brian Brushwood says, wow. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to bottle squeak out every fuck that I give. That's why I put the disclaimer at the front so I don't have to censor you like that. Oh, I, you know, I, I'm sorry, I don't like to be censored. And that's what the beauty is about Two Brains, One Bottle is I said, we need an opportunity to just go off whatever. The we, rails. Yes. Um, but in the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, click up here in one of these corners. I still haven't figured it out with the selfie cam. If you want to subscribe, please click the bell. You know what to do. And remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time on Room 6. Ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba. We've done better.